Gender is a major determinant of the best athletic performances due to various morphological and physiological differences. Women generally cannot perform at the same level as men during tasks requiring high levels of strength, muscular endurance, or physical work capacity. Men are bigger. Globally, the mean height of women is about 4.5 inches or 12 centimeters shorter than that of men. In the latest available data, the global mean height for men was 171 centimeters versus 159 centimeters for women. This height disparity between the sexes is present everywhere in the world. Men are faster. Women have smaller lungs. The VL2 max for the sedentary woman is about 33 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute, while a man's is about 42 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. Basically, the amount of oxygen produced at maximum exertion is greater in males than females. This means that women need to work harder to breathe in oxygen that they can deliver to their muscles. Women have smaller hearts. This means they have a smaller stroke volume, or the amount of oxygenated blood that the left ventricle pumps out in one beat. Women also have less hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen to the body's tissues, including the muscles. Men are also faster because of biomechanics. Men have longer legs, more room for muscle, as well as longer stride length. Muscles work efficiently when everything is in line. If your hips are very narrow like a man's, then your quads are running straight from your hips past your knees. It's in a straight line, so it's acting in the same direction that you're running. Men are stronger. Women are about half as strong as men in the upper body, and 66% as strong as men in their lower body. This is because men have larger fibers. The greater gender difference in upper body strength can be attributed to the fact that women tend to have a lower proportion of their lean tissue distributed in the upper body. Why are men bigger, faster, and stronger? The answer is testosterone. By the age 15, a boy's brain is being marinated in about two gallons of testosterone daily. This testosterone masculinizes his thoughts, behavior, and body. Testosterone is a powerful hormone. It is responsible for an increase in height and body growth. It controls sex drive, regulates sperm production, promotes muscle mass, and increases energy. It even influences human behavior such as aggression and competitiveness. As a result, most females are smaller and weigh less than their male counterparts. The difference in body composition, both the muscle mass and the percentage of fat, is responsible for the differences in strength and power performances observed between the two sexes. The overall body composition characterizes the size and configuration of the body. According to the action of sexual hormones, a progressive increase in body fat was observed in adolescent girls with sexual maturation. Sex differences are based on an increase in total body fat mass and more specific in the lower limbs during puberty in girls, while boys had increased lean body mass. Boys become progressively longer in skeletal length and muscle width and size compared to girls. The muscular volume being much lower in women because of the lower production of testosterone and the percentage of fat mass due to the influence of estrogen being higher. The female performance can never match those of their male counterparts. The Bible is the inspired, inerrant, and infallible word of God. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7 a. Husbands, in the same way, be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner. It's no surprise that science and experience are in agreement. All of this is contrary to the feminist claim that men and women are the same. It was God himself who designed the male and female bodies for each gender's role in a primitive society. Women are built for carrying and birthing children and must have wider hips and keep extra fat in store for the ordeal of pregnancy. Men, free from the requirements of childbirth, benefit from being as strong and light as possible, both in their search for food and when in competition with other men. My channel is Christ-Centered Self-Improvement for Christian Men in Health, Wealth, and Dating. The Christian way of life is the best way of life, so embrace Jesus and take the Christ pill.